Hello there and welcome to the next video and in this video I will going to show you how you can take the first step in the Tableau Prep Builder. So the very first step in Tableau Prep Builder is to import the data and to import the data once you open the Tableau Prep like this you need to come over here on this screen as you can see generally it, it's hidden but if you click over here it will show you the connections within the connections if you click on this add connection icon you will see a list of the various connection types which is available so for example the very popular like the microsoft access pdf excel statistical file tableau extract or text file is highlighted on top and then those which are customized for example the server tableau server Amazon Athena which is related to AWS, Amazon Aurora, Aurora and uh, Amazon EMR, um, Map R Hadoop, all of those are, are down there. And finally, if, if there are um, JDBC or ODBC connection to your custom database that you need to build, you can build it using these. And as and when it is uh, progressing, the new versions are coming out, more and more features and connection types are coming out. So if there is nothing, uh, no connection in terms of uh, what database you use or what backend data set you use, if it is not available, just check out the Tableau site and uh, for the prep builder and you will be able to see uh, when the connection or the uh, you know inbuilt connection which is out of the box is coming here for you so for now what we will do is i'll just click on the text file to create this tab and here what i have is a very simple uh, four different files so what i'll do is i'll just take the orders file order south file and as i double clicked over there two things happen one is uh, the connection is reflected over here and its related table Along with that, the very first input step has been created over here. So this, this is the step which has been created along with the plus sign as you know, I just clicked on this and it has the further steps that we can add, but that will be later. So the very first thing is input step. And as we are here, you will see that a lot of things have happened down here and here. So this is basically two different screen. The very first is screen over here where I'm uh, dragging my mouse left and right is basically the flow screen where you will create the flow for cleaning and massaging the data and down there you have the input step where you have a lot of information related to the file that you have imported or the number of files that you will import in future it will have that information so text setting is basically uh, shows you the information about the connection so this is the data set file uh, that you have uh, imported this is a text file or the csv file you can edit this if you want to choose a different file and then first line contain header and because of this all of this field name information is coming so you need to make sure if your first if your first line within the data set contains header make sure that it is enabled Otherwise, you can click on generate field names automatically, but it will not generate something pretty interesting, but the F1, F2, F3, F4, which you can change it. So I will just go back and click on the first line contains header. Then by default, it will going to select the field separator, text qualifier, character set. If, if, they, if your data set is having a special character set, then you can choose it from here. For now, we are good because uh, we are not using anything special. And finally, the local English United States with which I'm pretty good. So once you are here, once you are um, reviewed these settings, you have a couple of other settings, which I'll show you in a minute. And then um, on the right side is basically the screen where you can review the data set columns along with some sample values, which are part of each of the columns. So for example, sales is having numerical values. So that's fine. Um, region is basically south so that's good uh, even state is indicating the Louisiana so that's fine ship mode second class all of that information 
you can review and suppose if you don't want any of the column let's say for example uh, you know that uh, you are creating this dashboard for south region so you can uncheck this and with this the the column will not come in the front end or in the process data which you will use it then in the tableau and this way you will have only those columns which are required and which actually results into the good performance so for now i will just check that and then the second column, as you can see, indicates the uh, the the type of uh, uh, column that it is, whether it's numerical, whether it is character, whether it is calendar. You can see that this is all this information, which you can, if you can click, you can also change it based on uh, your requirements. Say, for example, if it has incorrectly identified the date, as numeric or the number then you can change it to either date or date and time based on the column values that you have afterwards you have the column as field name and original field name so field name is something you can change it uh, in in the next step which i will show you uh, maybe in the next video uh, whereas uh, it compares with the original field name so field name is something which is in the uh, W prep builder based on any customization that you are doing so for example order id so you, you may want to remove the space and have order underscore id instead of order space id so original field name will be remain as uh, order id whereas order underscore id is something you can change which i'll show you later how you can do that um, and then if any changes that we have done or any sample values so very first change that uh, we can do is probably let's say uh, in the ship mode, for example, we only want first class. So what you can do is we have the option over here to filter the value. So we can click on this and we can say ship as I enter SHI, it has showed me uh, two values. One is ship date, another is ship mode. So what I'll do is select the ship mode and say equals to first class. So I hope everything will be fine. And if I click on apply, and save the first class information is coming and the change that we applied is over here and once i hover over this filter it shows that ship mode equals to first class if i want i can right click either add it or remove so for now i'll go ahead and remove this so this is just to show you an action of filter which you can take with the help of the filter values um, option and if you remember this this field or this box should be you should be able to uh, correlate it with the calculated field uh, box of the tableau and uh, because of that it will be pretty easy and pretty familiar for you to make the calculations over here for the filters so once we are done we can click on apply and save so for now i'll just close this then what we have is basically the multiple files option so right now we are having only the single table but if we want multiple table we can have the wildcard union option and uh, within this folder order south it is looking at the different files that that is part of uh, the folder so right now it has uh, 2015 is something we already had uh, 2016 17 and 18 so if we say just the orders star so in this case it will going to show all or let's say if we have something like abc star then it would not show anything i just press the tab after after abc star so if i say orders star it will show you the all the different files and then you can click on apply and all the orders file will be added over here for 2015, 16, 17, and 18. So as you can see, the button has been changed to applied. So once we are done with this, we can come over here on the data sample. So what happened with the data sample, as it is mentioned over here as well, that for large data sets, you can improve performance by working with a subset of your data use these settings to select the data to include in the flow 
So what that essentially mean is, let's say you have uh, 10 million rows, or let's say you have 1 billion rows, let's, let's take that extreme example. And in this 1 billion row, if you have to process it again and again based on the flow that you are creating, the first of all, the data import will going to take a huge time to import all of the data inside the tableau. And because of that, what you can do is you can just sample the, uh, the rows. So for example, you can say that you want only the, uh, this is 1 million rows. So fixed number of rows less than equals to 1 million. So 1 million or 100,000 or 10 million or 10,000, it, it simply depends. Uh, on you how you want to select it so you can have the two option like a sampling method and random sample uh, I though random sample is good but clearly it is written that more thorough but it may impact performance so I think quick select should be good because uh, fixed number of rows like let's say uh, 1 million if you have 1 billion rows 1 million is a good representation or you can have 10 million which is again a very very good representation but if you are not sure you can also have random sample and evaluate whether it is really impacting your performance so for now i will just keep it default option and finally changes any changes that we have applied to the data set related to clean and transform, which I will show you in the next videos about how you can do that. So this way you can, uh, you can basically uh, import all of the files which are, uh, which are there in the folder. Um, another option is if I just show you over here, uh, another option is what I can do is I have other files, let's say order central, east and west. Apart from south, I have these files. So what I can do, I can simply drag also over here and this will become as you can see it has become part of the if i can drag it down so blue is indicated by order south um, orange is order central green and this pink or magenta is uh, order east so these are the four different files and four different color icons just for the uh, better understanding and better categorization so this is just another way by which you can also import and as you can see we have created the four different steps right four different input steps with which we can further join aggregate transform clean create new calculated field all of that we can do uh, afterwards once we have got the data inside it so that's about um, what I wanted to show you as a first video because input step is as you can see is pretty huge and uh, probably it has given you all the necessary ideas related to how you can import the data either using straight option uh, like single table or the wildcard or directly dragging it inside and how you can apply the filter do the sampling of data and so on and so forth so that's about it and I will meet you in the next video with a new topic